Hello YouTube. So I have a little update now with this ill 10P blower. This one is uh, the single phase one. So I have two of these now. One of them's three phase. This is the single phase. And they're both one third horsepower, 3400 RPM. But when I got this one, it had an issue with the motor. There was an open winding and it was wired for high voltage or 230 when I got it so with the open winding there was no way this thing would have been running but it was kind of iffy it would intermittently come on and then sometimes it would work I did rewire it for 115 and it, it was still giving me that issue so uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to rewind it I didn't I, I didn't want to have to rewind it, but obviously if it came down to it, I would do it. But um, fortunately, I was able to dig into the motor, and I actually had to do some surgery on the thing. And, I, you know, the windings were in excellent shape. The varnish was solid. There was nothing wrong with it. But it turned out that after I pulled apart some of the connections very carefully... And spread apart some of the coils on the magnet wire I was able to dig down inside and I found the source of the problem which was a thermal protection switch which this motor on the tag it says thermal thermally protected and I thought it was kind of funny when I first pulled it apart I said I don't see any thermal protection device in this motor anywhere so where is it um, and that kind of, when I, uh, when I found it, I put two and two together. I said, oh, I bet you that's the problem. Pulled it out. It was all corroded. And sure enough, it would kind of make and break contact depending on if I twisted it around a little bit. So I've removed that from the motor. So it's currently not thermally protected. But I'll probably install a uh, little thermal switch at some point to put in there. But for right now, I don't run it that long, so I'm not really worried about it. And it's, it's acting as it should. Uh, it's, when I first put it together, I plugged it in and it was drawing 3.9 amps, and it's only rated for 3.2. So I thought, uh-oh, maybe there's a problem here. But I don't know how I forgot this, because this is like blower 101, but I forgot that you have to have some kind of back pressure with these. So... What I did was I machined out of plywood, uh, took, it, took it on a lathe, and I cut this piece that fits inside here, this little reducer ring, and that put, gave it just enough back pressure that it now runs well within spec. It's rated for 3.2 amps, and it's running about 2.7 amps right now. So uh, without further ado, I'll give this thing a run for you, and you can see how it operates. <laughs> are still original eventually I'll replace those but um, you know for now they work they're not terrible they are just a little bit dry and old when I got it actually uh, whoever had serviced it last which it, it did have a tag from a motor shop on there so um, you know it looked like it had been a part at one time or another but um, when they put it back together the end bells are aluminum, but they have these kind of like a, a brass or bronze insert that's molded into the aluminum end bell, and that's where the the uh, the bearing journal is. So I guess they made it out of that material so it would have less of a chance of wearing or something. I'm not sure, but um, they're very snug the way they fit around the bearing. So when you put this motor together... You have to, after you bolt all the bolts together to hold the end bells in, you really have to, you kind of have to whack it with a, like a rubber mallet around and really get everything nice and set. I gave the, the shaft a couple taps with it, the end bells on both ends, and you can actually hear it kind of click and you can hear everything cinch together the right way. And 
when I received the fan, it was really tight. It would barely turn. You had to, you know, it didn't freewheel at all. If you gave it a push, as soon as you let go, it would stop dead in its tracks. So now um, that the bearings are seated properly, it seems to run fine. So thankfully, we got another ILG fan has been saved from the scrap pile. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and have a fantastic day.